<laughs> Here we are at another party. Doesn't it seem like it's always some event that we have to buy a gift for, whether it's the holidays or somebody's birthday or somebody's anniversary, and it can really add up. It can become expensive, and also it's a lot of unnecessary consumption. So there are exciting things going on in America today that will preclude us buying for every one of these events. We can actually make it a fun adventure, not spend any money, and do something very creative. Check it out. Here's an example. I had a bunch of keys that I didn't really know how to recycle, so I made a heart out of them, and this was a gift I gave to somebody. And this little key says, do not duplicate. I thought I was very clever, but then I actually <laughs> ran into some real artists who are doing something very similar to this. It's called upcycle art. They're taking stuff that is actual garbage from the street. I will recycle these into art. What are those? They're like... I don't know, they're wood panels of some sort. And they are turning it into art, and some incredible art. I'm gonna show you. This blue is... Gum wrappers. Gum wrappers! <laughs> I chew a lot of gum. <laughs> and I wanted to figure out a way that I could recycle the gum wrappers um, and make art out of it. This colored background is, is made from um, these Nespresso pods. So you just basically glue these onto you know an old file folder, a cardboard, whatever you have laying around. and. Then the pods are these inside, and, and you just squash them. And you glue them on the back, and then you put your stencil over it, and you've got a beautiful piece of art. I was visiting my mother, and she had all these old pieces of wood lying around in the garage. So I took one, um, and I thought, hmm, what could I do with it? And I simply did another stencil of uh, an image I found online that I really enjoyed, and spray painted it, or painted it. And then these are the pods again, just squashed, and it's sort of um, the woman's hair. That's the way I see it. But it's art can be interpreted any way you want to interpret it. <laughs> but she's a very colorful woman. This is a hard coaster. You can really use anything. And you just press it down. And there you go. It's that simple. There we go. Ashley's doing it too. Fabulous. It's exciting and creative and it really inspires the creative juices. V is for vegan. Yeah, so this one's really simple. I just glued them on um, to a canvas I had laying around and put some blue as a background and uh, made a V stencil and there you have it. This upcycle artist is going to make a piece of art right now in just a couple of seconds for everyone to see. The other day I was walking around New York and there was a whole bunch of these, I believe they're old wooden floorboards, like, you know, fake wood floorboards. And I thought, hmm, I could probably make something out of those. So I grabbed them out of the dumpster and um, brought them home, painted them a thin layer of gold, and now I'm gonna do something with the pods. The idea I'm getting here is to have two arrows pointing in opposite directions, and then um, the colored pods all around it, so the arrows will pop out. That's the idea where it's headed right now. That could change as I go on, because art often changes as you're making it, so. Anybody would like that. That would go with yes. any decor. It's, it has yeah. such a story. Yeah. It has such a yeah. meaning. It has yeah. such it's original. Okay. Yeah. I want to do it. Yes. I, the ideas are going in my head. Um, I think I can come up with something. So how many people here decide they want to do this? Yeah. Woo!